Hello everyone, and this is Inayat Mir with my Active Directory Federation services using Windows Server 2016 operating system. You are going to see the whole scenario. I do have a PDF. If you want PDF, I can email you. But I would suggest that just pause the video, read the scenario, read the topics what I am going to cover and continue with the practice if you do not have Hyper-V or a VMware environment with virtual computers just let me know and I will help you to set up as well so this is a Windows Server 2016 where have a, a multi-forest environment we have a tray research.net domain and we have a a datum.com domain so in between these two domains we are going to uh, set up a federation relation so uh, active directory federation server uh, will be installed on my LON DC one first and we will continue uh, same with the other end as well with the both forests so I am going to log in into my LON dash DC one which is a domain controller domain name is adatum.com so I am posting my email periodically whenever you need you just copy it let me know what you need from uh, this video I will split this video with several parts so you can understand better this is my DNS first we need to have a two-way transitive trust between domain A and domain B that means adatum.com and trayresearch.net on adatum.com trayresearch.net will be my DNS domain name we need to add IP address of tray-dc1 host which is a trayresearch.net domain you will see this will be resolved about in few minutes at this time we will ignore that if you see that it is trying to resolve but it will take a while so we will store this in the forest this was my adatum.com part we can move on to trayresearch.net to do the same because in order to have a two-way transitive trust first we have to meet domain functional levels which we do we have 2008 or better so you can leave when you install operating system and the uh, domain you can leave the default domain functional level and the forest functional level and uh, continue or you can customize it we are going to go into a DNS console once again but at this time at tray-dc1 whenever you log into the server first time or to the domain first time you have to wait until your server manager shows a sign that it is refreshed same thing we need to create a condition forwarder with a DNS name a datum.com because we are at this time at a tray research.net we need to add 172.16.0.10 IP which belongs to a datum.com again we want to store this condition forwarder in active directory and replicate it in the forest so we are done for this process we do have a domain functional level and forest functional level in place now we do have a conditional forwarders in each domain from a datum to tray research.net and from tray research to a datum dot com so we are all set if we want to test a transitive trust between these two domains uh, we should go and do it from active directory domain and trust first let's go and work with a certificate services first we have to 
get the certificate from traderesearch.net this is trade-dc1.traderesearch.net underscore trade research so this is a certificate or root certificate of traderesearch.net we can install it on LON-DC1 or we can add into a trusted root certificate authority but let's first copy from traderesearch.net into your own DC's local drive then we can go and use a group policy method first at DC1 secondly we go into tray dash dc1 which is a tray research.net and we will directly install certificate from a datum.com so we have to go to group policy default domain policy windows settings security settings under your computer configuration and you have to look for public key policy click on windows settings Windows setting and then security settings and you would look for public key policy and we will go into trusted root certification authority and you right click anywhere once it is selected and import the certificate what we just copied from traderesearch.net you browse it to that certificate at root drive which I have pasted in C drive click on open next and you have to place this under your trusted root certificate authorities which is already selected once you click on next and finish you should receive a prompt that a success okay so this process was done on the other end now we can go into our tray dc1 where we are going to get a certificate from a datum.com so click on tray dc1 host name server was already logged in now you can use a unc path universal naming convention for dc1 where we have a shared folder cert enroll now you have to look for l1-dc1.adatum.com underscore adatum ca dot crt which is actually a root certificate of adatum.com so you just simply can install it to the local machine because we are going to install this on a host again at this time you have to click on place all certificates in the following store and select trusted root certificate certification authority and wait for a success prompt or message okay so this part has been completed so so far we established a two-way transitive trust we created conditional forwarders on each side of the domain we need to add now a host record in our DNS servers but that part can be done later on this is a member server LON dash SVR1 we can go from the member server to the PowerShell if you don't feel a, a comfortable screen at PowerShell you can increase uh, font but currently we are doing just update at the client side 
you also can use a, a forward slash space a forward slash force switch if you want to uh, it is not necessary at this point so you just have to update computer policy and user policies from a elevated command prompt or from a PowerShell window it's supposed to be an admin window so I was logged in as an administrator here now we are going to create a certificate from L1 SVR1 which is very important so you are going to create a domain certificate and I will fill up the blanks offline which are required for London England CRQ or certificate assigning request we can choose a datum friendly name uh, friendly name could be any but you can choose the friendly name as advised a datum test app because we are going to work on a datum a test app environment that is where we are going to test our certificate services if at this point your this wizard fails go back to LON DC1 and restart Active Directory certificate services this is as simple so now you can see this certificate and these all the information I put that will show under your subject alternate name and your subject name so this part was done now you have to check the binding order where you can place a certificate as a secure like an SSL certificate you can review existing certificates you can add new certificate port 80 is a default port you can add port of 443 so this was the part one of this video uh, where we have completed few requirements including condition forwarders transitive trust and some other things okay so now you will see uh, the second part where we are going to create a DNS record for a federation server active directory federation servers we will install active directory federation services first form we will configure and we are going to then uh, verify after this uh, part for the federation uh, servers functionalities I uh, think I, I should come back in the second part so I don't want you to get uh, bored on this one so we will continue right from this point in my part 2 thank you for watching this is in Ayat Mir